understanding javascript array reduce function under two minutes so we have an example here in which we have an array containing five seven and ten and what happens is that this reduce function takes two things one it takes a function with some arguments that are passed by javascript and second an initial value so what happens is that it will go through each of the element one by one so in the first iteration it will take five then in the next one seven and in the next one ten but it starts from the initial value as the first parameter which is x so reduce function is supposed to combine all of these things or the logic that we have written is it is going to add all of these things and make it the sum of everything so when it comes inside the first time you can see that the x is 0 which is the initial value and the y is 5 which is the first item of the array right there it will combine both of those which would result in 5 so the next time it comes inside the x becomes 5 and the second value 7 in the array becomes the y so now it's going to add 5 plus 7 which is going to be 12 so the next time x becomes 12 and then y is 10 the last item here and then finally it would go towards here and calculate the sum so the total sum here is 22 although an interesting thing here is that if i don't provide this value at all reduce function automatically considers the first element as the x but the iteration then starts from y so in this case, if I also wanted to sort of log the index, so I can say console.log index here. And if I do this and run this, let's see what happens. In this particular case, you can see that I can see the index 0, 1, 2 when the, all of this was executed. But if I remove this second parameter 0, then let's see what happens. In this case, you can see that the iteration started from 1 because we did not provide any initial value. And that's how it combined all of those by starting the iteration from 1. If you found this video useful, do share it and follow me for more.